All right, so we are here to talk text structure, word choice, and main idea. We are adding on here. So again, by the end of this lesson, our objective is I can use the author's text structure and connotation to find important diction in a text. So let's take a little look here at text structure and idea. And as you, once you know a text structure, you can get a really good idea of what an author wants you to know. So basically, whatever text structure is chosen can lead to the main idea. However, the main idea isn't always completely clear. It might be just for that one paragraph or that one little section, or it might be something that you need to prove because it's implied. So there is more to proving a main idea than just the text structure. We also want to look at the word choice that authors are using. And here's our handy dandy little pencil person. So as that's a reminder to make sure you're writing this information on your screen down in your notes. All right, so when an author picks that specific text structure, it's because they want us to focus on specific information. If they're using problem and solution, they want us to focus on what that problem is and the solution, like how they're going to fix it, how they did fix it, and so on. So if we notice that text structure, we should be looking for that particular problem and solution that the author is providing us. We should also be looking out for diction, which is those words that the author uses specifically to make a point. Um, so just word choice to help us know exactly what they're trying to say about the problem solution. They're making us focus that it's there, but what are they saying about it? Are they trying to tell us it's something that's already been solved? Are they telling us the solution isn't working? Are they telling us that there's one solution that's better than another? All of that kind of thing that's helping us focus and really understand the point about this problem solution that the author is trying to tell us. And of course, here's our handy dandy pencil person to remind us what definitions need to go in our notebooks. Okay, so really quickly, let's review these words. Diction is word choice, but it is about looking at what words are actually being used. Are they repeating? Um, if there's repeating words, they're really words to pay attention to. And of course, we're talking those serious words, not the little articles like the and so on. We want the big words um, that carry more meaning to them. However, we want to add the feelings that go along with those words, the connotations, the understandings that come along with them. Those can really help us add to the feeling that the author is trying to get across or their opinion on this. It, that will actually help us guide to the main idea because we are thinking about exactly how the author is presenting things and double check you do know these definitions and that you have them. All right, let's dig into this paragraph right here. Um, it is kind of description, but kind of cause and effect. They're describing the effects of the slave trade, um, which ended up being really, really bad. That population growth was cut in half and a lot of people died, caused slave trade. So cause and effect, we're seeing those things, but let's dig a little deeper. What kind of diction is being used in this paragraph to describe and show us this information? So if we take a look right here, I've got some things like, let me get this in, um, the number like thousands right there. So we're seeing numbers, huge numbers to describe the scale of this event. Um, but the numbers themselves are fact. They're not giving us any connotation or feelings. So we want to keep looking. So I'm seeing the word forced right here. That is definitely not a happy word. Migration is just about movement of people or animals or whatever, but this isn't by choice. The idea of force is really giving us information. And here we also have a dangerous voyage. So as we're seeing these things, they're very negative feeling words and make us not like this. So the diction choices of this author are starting to show us how they feel about this whole issue. So let's go ahead and move on to the section that this comes from. And we're actually going to show you how to 
we're gonna practice tracking this diction and this information. So I've got this totally huge triangle, which is a graphic organizer, looks like a pyramid up here. And you'll notice at the bottom, down over here, it says diction. So that this one section at the bottom is where we're going to track diction. And we're gonna talk about one or two word phrases, not whole sentences. We are looking at word choice. So we are going to start building this pyramid structure to get us to have a better idea and deeper understanding of the main idea of a section. So I'm going to take a couple of the words that we just talked about, forced and dangerous, because they have very specific emotions and feelings that go with them. And I'm just copying these words right here into the bottom section only. So I'm actually going to pull up the entire section of this article. This is only a section of the article, not the entire article, but it's all about migration, so it goes together. So now that I'm looking here, I'm noticing there are some words that are repeating in here. So I am seeing, let's get my pen back up here. I am seeing that word migration again. So that's definitely a big topic in this. Um, I'm seeing like slave trade. That's a big thing. So we know exactly migration that's being forced through slave trade. And I'm noticing some really sad things in here because of course death is never happy um so like thousands died and so on so in here i'm picking through repeated words and various words with feeling adding migration the slave trade and death i'm listing those at the bottom so that i can then just focus on those words specifically so in here, the topic is clearly the migration due to slave trade, but with those extra diction connotation words of forced, dangerous, and pointing out all the death, the author is clearly showing us a very negative opinion that they really have strong negative feelings about what was going on. So this, these feelings are starting to lead us to a deeper main idea of not just what happened, but the author starting to express an opinion in here as well.